Hello and welcome back to U.S. Mint News and Reviews for September 9th, 2023. I'm Stacker. Now let's get to it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all right? Now over here to the United States Mint Bullion Sales, we got these sales totals. They're updated every single weekday by 5 p.m. And yeah, we got nothing for yesterday, Friday, September 8th. So we got no new sales to tell about. And I think what that means is over here, money metals, we're not going to see any kind of premium get lowered at whatsoever. So that's kind of a bummer in the summer right there. Really, um, it'd be nice to see this premium around two, three, four dollars tops, not double that at 839. All right, now let's get over here. There's a big deal going on over here at the United States Mint just came out yesterday under U.S. Mint News Press Release 2023. And I will leave a link in the description for this particular article, as well as some of the other articles we are talking about here this morning. So this came out yesterday September 8 2023 and it is a really big deal it's an amazing deal and if you like coins your numismatist whatever it is you might consider yourself this is gonna be something special all right now back when um, I guess look at so 1975 and 1976 the US mint made struck these coins right uh, they had the drummer boy on it right there right that's a drummer boy you know the du -du -du -du, you know <laughs> then the Independence Hall you got there and then you got the moon with the Liberty Bell pass and stow there it is right there now with that said, those were the only three coins that were redesigned. And I think collectors back then were kind of like, wah, 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 you know, they weren't really into it. They're like, hey, you could have done much better. Now, there was some silver issued, okay? Silver was reissued into our coinage uh, with these quarters here. Not so much the other ones, but definitely the quarters. And they were minted uh, for distribution and circulation. And I think people were like, yeah, score. And they got gobbled all up. And you may own a couple of these silver coins that were circulating now get, let's get back to this this is a really big deal this is the invitation right here um this is out of washington dc 2026 will mark america's semi-quincentennial that's the 250th anniversary of the founding of our nation in commemoration of this monumentous anniversary the united states mints will be minting and issuing redesigned 2026 dated circulating coins now this one year design change is for one year only so one year design change is for 2026 only and folks, they could have easily done 2023, right? Because in December of 2023, well, you know, the Boston Tea Party, that happened. That was a thing. And could the United States Mint had a commemorative coin? I don't know, maybe a medal at least, right? They could have struck a medal because I don't think they take legislation to get that done. But that's all right. Um, I guess that's just a miss and that's the way it has to be. The Mint is considering a variety, a variety of possible themes for the special circulating coins. And we invite all Americans to take a brief, brief survey about the thematic concepts being considered. So it looks like they have these ideas already and they want you to, to just discuss the ideas, not necessarily bring your own ideas to the table, but the ideas they've already brought to the table and then you get to pick which ones you think, I guess, are the ones that stand out to you. All right, now they want you to please visit catalogusmint.gov to take the survey, which is now open through October 10. That's about one month of input that they're asking for. Only one month. Imagine if you didn't even get the message or the memo and you, you're like, oh, I missed it. It's November. It's December. Oh, what a bummer in the summer. As authorized by Public Law 116.330, the Circulating Collectible Coin Redesign Act, the designs for 2026 circulating coins will be selected in accordance with design selection process developed in consultation with the United States Semiquincential Commission and with the recommendations from the general public. Here we go. It says here a select group of federal advisors from the Smithsonian Institution, National Archives, and Records Administration, as well as the Library of Congress and National Park Service participated in the development of the proposed thematic concepts that appear in the survey. Hmm, yeah. How do you feel about that, folks? Do you feel like, is that like the illusion of choice? Or is that like, yeah, you can pick anything you want as long as it's what we say it is, right? Now it says, during the one-year period beginning January 1st, 2026, the CCCRA permits the Secretary of the Treasury to mint and issue redesigned coins in celebration of the United States semi-quincentennial. This includes both the obverse and reverse sides of each circulating coin. What? Are they talking about the Lincoln penny or Lincoln cent, whatever you like to call it? The Jefferson nickel, the Roosevelt dime? Obviously, the quarter dollar. What about the 50-cent piece? What about the Native American dollar? What about 
the innovation dollars. Wouldn't that be something? Wow, right? So I think that would be a huge departure if we did that from these particular three. I think like I think that was a miss last 1976. And I really like those 1976 quarters. They were amazing. I really do. Some of my favorite, probably third favorite quarter, right there with Washington crossing the Delaware. That's a really awesome quarter. And if you don't know what that is, you got to check out the 2021 uncirculated mint set that has it in there. And it probably is a nice choice design. Now it says here, we just talked about each circulating coin now it says here up to including up to five different quarter designs emblematic of the semi-quincentennial one of which which must be emblematic of a woman's or women's contribution to the birth of the nation or the declaration of independence or any other monumental moments in american history the mint also is planning new 2026 designs for its numismatic coins did you hear that so that's the ones they sell to the public all right that's a huge deal the ones they sell to the public. That could be the 50 cent piece. That could be the innovation dollars. That could be the Native American dollars. Isn't that something? I'm like, yeah, you know what I want to do? I want to jump up and down. I want to go to the top of the highest mountain and scream how stoked I really am. That's amazing. Let me go ahead and read that. You know, let's see here. Um, this one here that says emblematic of women's or women's contribution. Um, I think it would be genius to put that first one out in 2026, um, like in February or January. Because, well, that's when the American Women Program, American Women Quarter Program ends. And I think that would be a nice finish in 2026. The very first release for the semi-quincentennial be that American Women Quarter, like a continuation of the American Women Quarter Program, right? Or maybe the transition. Wouldn't that be something? I just gave myself chicken skin. Wow. Now, here we go to congress.gov. And this is H.R. 1923. And I've highlighted what's what. So this is uh, Section 3. It says here, Treasury may issue quarter dollars. We already know about that with up to five different designs. We know that. Now, what are the quarter dollars emblematic of the women's? Okay, we got that. Now it says here, Treasury may, in addition to the coins honoring Native Americans and honoring innovation and innovators, what? Meant for issuance during the one-year period beginning January 1st, $1 coins with designs emblematic of the U.S. semi-quincentennial. Wow. Oh, yeah. But up, you know, I was about to do. <laughs> but McDonald's probably would not like that if I did that. But you know what I'm doing. You know what how it sounds. Now here we are. That's the emblem for the 250th anniversary, the semi-quincentennial. 17. This would be an amazing privy mark. Just the golden bell with the 250 in it, with the crack on the Liberty Bell, with the date here. Come on, that would be an excellent privy mark. Like stick that on one of these coins right here in the in the uh, obverse in the, one of the areas of that field. That would be so awesome. That would just make me so happy. So there you are. This is uh, I'm going to leave this link in the description here. This is for the survey. Hope you dig it. This is um this is a big deal, folks. This is a really big deal. They want to hear from you. Usually the Mint doesn't really want to hear from you about your ideas. Uh, they did about the American Women Quarters. And if you did submit an idea for the American Women Quarters and they use one of your uh, design ideas or your honorees, kudos to you. Uh, I put Amelia Earhart just because and that really makes me feel like I'm just in grade school again because really that's one of the ones, um, one of the uh, American women that had an impact in my world. But there's so many more that we've discovered here in the last three, two and a half years for the American Women Quarter Program. So pretty stoked about that. Now, enough jabber, John. Let's go over to the plus ones. Bam. This is Proverb 1124. It says here, there is one who scatters and gathers more and one who refrains from what is proper only for a loss. That does not sound good to me. Now it says, um, if we try and wrap our head around this, time and money spent on doing the Lord's will brings additional wealth, but a refusal could con to contribute to worthy causes brings a loss. Oh, wow, that's got to be rough. Now, over here to three nines, fine, 99.9. .9. You ever think you need a holiday on the moon? Well, Love and Rockets got you covered here. This is holiday on the moon, folks. So there it is. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for watching. Stack her out.